Let's have a look on this assignment about triangles. Before we start a general recommendation, always try to work in iterations. So do not try to implement a complete exercise um, directly. Yeah, for only always implement only a few lines of code, execute the code, check if everything is working fine and only then continue. If you have find a fault, first try to fix the fault before you continue. That's how even the experienced programmers work. Why? Because usually you spend most of the time identifying and uh, finding faults. In our task, of course, we need first to have three angles. I would call them A, B and C. And uh, these angles I assume are integers, but of course, when I get these uh, through the input function, I first, ha first have to pass them, cast them into an uh, int, um, because you remember input always gives back a string. So how can I do? I will start with a equ equals to int input, and now I enter this code from the exercise, copy, uh, do the same with B and C. So now I have uh, values for A, B and C and again I would propose to work in an iterations. So I first check if everything went fine. So I'll add them all up, A plus B plus C, make a printout just to see if everything is fine. Yeah, and you see, they seem to be integers, they are well added, everything is okay. So the next task I have to do is, I have to check if all these angles are bigger than zero, or vice versa, I can check if one of these angles is equal or smaller than zero. And that's what I'm doing. I state if A, smaller or equal to zero, or B, smaller or equal to zero, or C is small or equal to zero, then I give back a comment and I take this one from the code uh, angles must smaller than zero are not valid. Cancel, sorry. Uh, otherwise, for the time being, I state it's okay. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's first put some valid angles in here. Uh, we have not checked yet the 180, so it, up to now it's okay. And now give a counter example. Yes, say a 0, uh, 23, 45. Yeah, and now angles smaller than 0 are not valid. Actually, it should be angles smaller or equal then zero are not valid. Now let's check this second um, condition we have to fulfill. Elif, yeah, we have to check if uh, A and B, A plus B plus C is equal to 180. Yeah, and if not, again, we give a comment back. Elif, A plus B plus C, and we check if it is not equal. So we say not equal to 180. Then print. Now we say uh, the entered values are not valid. And again, let's check. Oh, I have added these columns to early. Please enter the first angle. Let's first give a bad example. Yeah. The entered values are not valid. Yeah. So we have ended up here. Now try to give a good example. 60, 60, 60. Now everything is fine. Only if we have reached this situation in here, we now check if we have a right triangle, an obtuse right angle or an acute right angle. So here we have to nest 
a second if statement and first we ask if there is a right angle so which means if a equal to 90 or if b equal to 90 or if c equal to 90 then print um, let's check um, the triangle is a right triangle let's say in here otherwise we say else print not right again we'll check so let's first give it a correct 90 60 30 degree uh, triangle with one right angle and it says the triangle is right uh, so it's okay now let's double check sorry let's double check we say we have 60 60 60 so it now says it's not right we have identified a correct triangle but one which is not a right one which is which has no right angle now we continue and say elif yeah, we'll check now if one of these angles is bigger than 90 degrees a bigger than 90 or b bigger than 90 or c bigger than 90 then we say print no. the triangle is an obtuse triangle and if it is not then actually the last case must be true which is the right angle the triangle is an acute triangle again let's check it yeah. 90 60 30 is a correct triangle and it's a right one let's run it again yeah, so now we say it is a hundred a 40 a 40 it's an obtuse triangle and the last one 60 60 60 this is an acute triangle everything works fine